Hey, welcome to the Wallace Reboot. I'm Wally. I'm Tam. We sold everything to travel the world with our four kids. And this is our last video of India. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. Okay, yeah, this is our last video of India. It's a little mishmash. Just our, we decided to buy our tickets on a whim. The kids, as you kind of picked up from our other videos, our, my kids were all ready to go. Um, so we just gave in. He wasn't working. Anyways, a big thing. So here's the last bit of Rishikesh packing, catching up with friends for the last time, last Get, time in the river. Getting the last minute of uh, good Indian food. Oh my gosh, the food. Yes. We didn't know how much we loved Indian food, and maybe we won't love it like back in the States. I don't know, maybe it's not as good there, because, whew. I don't know. It is so good. Okay, here we go. I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> oh, I, don't, I don't know what that was, dude. <laughs> oh, yeah, you got it. <laughs> Oh, you got it! Shooting for low, they go no me ten down on my tear a catchy letting me. They just think I got to take it on them, just like you. Look, yeah, look, look at it. Same pose, same thing. Oh, I'm just trying to eat. <laughs> nah, that's just clothes, dude. Ain't no food up in there. My clothes. <laughs> Take some and throw them in the water. <laughs> and that's good, huh? Oh, there's two now. Oh, look at who's got his boy over there. Look out. He's sitting like a little man. It's so funny. I just want everyone to know I'm not comfortable with this situation. <laughs> what is going on? They know how to do it. He said, just tell me that sometimes the monkeys get Yeah, he just like rolled over and laid his head down. Yeah, you ready? Let's go. Look at him, look at him. He dancing. Yeah. There's a baby over there too on the ledge, eating on the ledge. No, he's like... <laughs> Real quick, um, can we just talk about the staring? Yeah, it was it was a stare, not a glance. Okay, so we get stared at. We're a big family. We're American. We're a mixed race. I hate that word. We're mixed we're one race. pigment. <laughs> um, Some are pigment challenges. Yes. So, so we get stared at, but okay, in in Southeast Asia, for example, they stare at you. And it's like curiosity. I have a friend. <laughs> We're in Greece, by the way. Opa. Okay. Um, so many cats. Cats and flies right now. So, <laughs> yes. anyways, in India, so they just kind of stare at you, like curious in Asia, and they might ask you, you know, questions, and you're right. they'll ask us questions. And that's it. But India, this is what they do in India. Are you ready? Yeah, yeah. Did a fly really just land on my face? It did. It's kind of like the gas face. Seriously. They literally come this close to you. They'll circle past you with that like look of horror on their face. And their head does not move. And they're like literally this far from your... It's bizarre. And there's... How many billion people live in India? I mean, there's a lot of people. A lot. It's crowded. A lot. a lot of people yes. stare at you all day. So... We usually take it in stride, but I'm not gonna lie, I was getting pretty she was a little dead bit, by uh, the end. Upset. Men staring at the girls. Um, I mean, there's a reason why they have a separate uh, train for women. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so disclaimer if you're from India, we love you. Thank you for watching. Um, you know, though, that India is India. There's yes. nothing like it. There's a lot. Um, for better or for worse. And so. We're just coming from our American perspective, and we just want to share like the reality for us. And yeah. so we're not trying to bash India. No. I want to go back someday. Once again, it's a different culture for us. You know? 
these are the things that we experienced and we just want to share that reality so that other travel families know what to expect when they go. We'd walked by the henna shop several times on our way to the river. This guy was obsessed with Tay's curly hair and he found out we were finally leaving so he told us to come back by on our way back um, so she could get some henna, her and Ab, before we took off. So we did that. I actually wanted to go the next day but yeah. we were leaving, leaving like we were busy Wasn't packing. Able to do it. It. Anyways, Too much. here's that. This in one minute. Actually, it was shorter than a minute. No, it was probably four or five minutes. <laughs> She's freaking out. That was so short. That was fast. That was really fast. Like, he's like, like, wow. How long has he been doing it? How long have you been doing henna? When I was eight years old. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah very good. Hi, I don't know. You don't want one, King's then? YouTube. On YouTube? Yeah, we do YouTube. Namaste, my name is Satya. Thank you for making it up from my hand. He's got skills. Talented. One more time with me. Okay? Jordan Smith. One more time with me, okay? Yeah, yeah. My hair used to be <laughs> you're like you're manifesting the hair. He's manifesting. He's like more hair, curly hair. Oh, political. <laughs> Like a uh, politics of the books. Yes, yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Yes. The guy I saw in the front, he's the one on the poster. Yes. Yeah, I saw him. Yeah. Hey, I saw him. I'm just watching him. No, I watched him. Yeah. Those two lemon tea lemons. Yeah, two. Two more? No, no, just those two over there. Yeah. <laughs> no, we are the <laughs> hunter. You have a window, dude. You got lots of windows. Oh, you want to open one? You don't want to stick your hand or anything out there, though, buddy. We get chopped off. You have to pay to go in? We just want to watch. 20 rupees. 20, 20 rupees. Oh, Oh, my God. 
I have no idea what it's called, but it's potatoes and onions and three sauces, one cilantro-y and one sweet, and it's yummy. Yummy and discovered on the last night. Murphy's Law, gotta love it. It's so dark, it's only 12.30, it's usually bright and sunny, it looks like nighttime. It's like a huge storm just rolled in. Okay, lock it. I don't know if you saw back there, but the lock slides up. And then that went right out into the lake hallway and the courtyard. And we woke up a few mornings <laughs> with the door wide open. So everyone was just walking by seeing us sleeping. And also just kind of creepy. There's no light in here? It is literally like nighttime dark. It's but guys, I've been recording. 33. Okay, and then there's another jankier bathroom. This is the kitchen sink, I guess. That's the kitchen. This had nothing. We got him to at least give us that. Oh, there's a towel, guys. Yeah. Look at that. It is like pitch black outside. That is insane. Scary. What in the heck? I have never seen something like that. What in the world? And it's all sandy. That is creepy as heck. It's a sandstorm. It's like the apocalypse. Door. It is so dark. It's okay, buddy. It's okay. It was time to leave. As you guys saw, the massive storm had came in, and then all of a sudden it cleared. Yeah. And we kind of had this overall, we just kind of had this overall feeling of like we were escaping. And it just felt like <laughs> exactly. intense and stressful. and. We told you that the guy was kind of shady. There were some issues, and um, we had already paid him. We had paid him half, mm -hmm. and then we didn't even stay half the time we said we were no. going to. We were going to stay like six weeks, and we only yeah. stayed two. Yeah. And so he got more than his money's worth, but we just mm -hmm. were, just didn't. I just didn't. I was worried about a confrontation, so I just kind of felt like just it just felt tense. Yeah. Okay. So first of all, we prepaid I'm just trying to get for a taxi channel. last night because we are getting out of India. We decided it's time to go. Um, so we needed to get out of here today to get to the airport in the morning and we, um, our taxi just didn't show up and hopefully we'll get our money back. We prepaid online. So then we spent four hours finding another taxi. Our taxi then finally found us. So that was another hour. Well, our driver finally comes and you know, like I said, these streets are super narrow. There's only so many places you can pull over. So he had pulled over. Right by kind of at the top of the like where the taxis were the taxis could still get in and out for the most part there was one but no one was in it see and that's why i love the biker community everyone's so chill so it's like five I think it's late. It's the sun's getting ready to start going down. 541. I really didn't want to be on this road. Um, 
fun. It's a, it's a fun room. In the dark. So anyways, we're, we're finally getting everything loaded in the car and about to leave. And the taxi guy across the street decides that he's ticked and he wants some money because he didn't get the job. They just drive up and down the street. I really didn't even think to check because one, they way overcharged. And two, I didn't think they went all the way to Delhi. It's like a seven hour drive, six hour drive. So you guys were getting everything, like we brought everything out. You guys mm -hmm. were getting it all on, strapped on top of yes, the, yes. getting it all strapped on top of the car. And that's when it started. Anyways, he and a gang of men all come over and they're literally trying to one snatch the keys out of the driver's hand like forcefully. Hi in the car. Let's just go, sir. Sir, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Hey! Whoa! 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 No! No! So yeah, the guy tried to literally snatch the keys out of our driver's hand, and that's when I was like, my American came out. I was like, oh no, mm -mm. like that didn't happen, and I was mad, and I was. Anyways, Makai was was getting pretty pissed, and you could see we didn't say very nice things about India. We apologize, but. We had had enough, we were burnt out, and that was like done. the last straw. My kids were in the car crying at this point. We were scared. I was scared at this point because- I was just upset. He was getting more and more upset, which he rare, he rarely gets upset. And I was um, worried that Makai or him were gonna get into a physical altercation. Like, I was just scared. Like, this is by this point, it feels like a mob. Like, there was like 30 men. It, it was a lot And then everyone the else in the, in the shops and stuff had come out, were watching. People up in the balconies came out and were watching because it was getting loud. And it was just, it was scary. They're getting up on Makai and Rob and Wally. Makai, like, someone touched him, so he, like, pushed him off of them or out of the way. And then they all, like, were you touched me? We're like, yeah, you're, like, on me and pushing me. So, um, it was getting a little scary. We got the kids in the car. Such pricks. I know. I can't wait to leave this country. This is why we hate India right here. Just if anyone was wondering, it's that. The driver wouldn't get in the car. Makai's like, come on, sir, just get in the car. And he wouldn't get in the car. Because they were stopping him. They wanted him to pay a fee. So they wanted him to pay a fee, which... Whatever, like I wish someone knew English and would have just showed me a Google Translate and said, hey, we've got the, we're the taxi mafia yeah, and we're basically. not going to let you leave unless you pay us five bucks. You know what I mean? Like, uh, it would have been a lot simpler. I would have yeah. been pissed, yeah. but like. That would have been better than all that stuff. That but anyways, wild. meanwhile, like we're fed up, we're burnt out, we're taxed out on every one of our senses. My yeah. kids are in the car crying and terrified, so mm -hmm. now I'm pissed. And then next thing I know. The first time in our 13 years of marriage, I've never seen that side of you. I, it was uh, crazy. Uh, he starts screaming. Well, it got to the point where, when Makai was standing there, and then the guy was like, uh, nudging Makai. Oh, you know what yeah. I mean? Mm -hmm. And then Makai was like, oh, wait a second now. You know what I'm saying? Papa so Bear I kind of stood there and stuff like that. And then I was getting really upset because, like she said, the men kept on coming over. You know what I mean? And it was like, there is no... They were pressing and it was a mob and they yeah. were not letting us leave. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, he starts like, basing his voice and starts screaming. I just want to get my family out of this city. Let us go. Just let us go. Let us get in the car. You're ridiculous. That was it. And he was like going off. But he wouldn't stop and he was very upset. And I've never seen him upset. And I'm already like worried about the situation. And I've never seen him pissed <laughs> like that. So I was like... She Holy crap, vehicle. what's happened? Just that get in the it. vehicle. Just get in the vehicle, Rob. Just get in the vehicle. Oh, it was so terrible. It was terrible. But you have to understand, you know, when you're in a foreign country with your family and you're about to leave and vacate and then the driver that's taking you to the airport is and being And we're already stopped, up to here, you know, like we're done. You know, so it was like I was getting upset because they were basically, like we talked about before, feeling like a, a prisoner. We were escaping that. Like it was holding my family hostage. Yeah. I realized what I didn't do. I didn't put blush on. That's why I look so washed out. Mm. I totally forgot. Why did I do that? I just did all these videos and I look like a ghost. Okay, anyways. Um, so yeah, so finally our driver 
walked over and paid them. I was trying to figure out a police number to call, um, but finally the driver paid him 500 rupees and we went and he was like, anyways, maybe one day I'll come back and leave some things I like, but for now, hashtag incredible India. I had texted the, um, the guy in Delhi yes, who yes. had given me his number because he personally knew the company at right. least. I don't know if our driver the, personally the driver, knew the company. Right. And he was like, oh, you know, let, like he didn't exactly make me feel better like it was a totally safe situation. Uh, uh. And so anyways, we finally get in the car and you'll hear Makai comment about adrenaline. But like we were all just like the kids were silent and like I think the girls were crying um, as we were driving out. Mm -hmm. And so this is us driving away finally. Yeah, that was really intense, really stressful. Not a great note to leave on. Um, yeah. That was just unfortunate. Bye, Felicia. I can't breathe, cause you pushed me back. I should have stayed, stayed away from you. It feels like I'm, I'm being attacked. I don't know what, what I'm gonna do. I just wanna run, I just wanna Some big common routes they have these rest stops not very often there's only one or two usually well at least on this it's like a seven hour drive but everything's a little overpriced <laughs> we're pretending we're not in india for a minute it's american prices though okay but for real we're not saying that we hate india and that you shouldn't come Stop. No, stop. He's being naughty. It's um what almost 10, Makai? It's almost 10 p.m. We're still three hours away from the airport and we're driving in these dark India streets and the guy's like on his phone. It's kind of terrifying. Um, my nipples cutting through my shirt. <laughs> but we're so close. I'm like getting my jacket. So on. glad I started recording for that. <laughs> <laughs> See this skill. It's like I will be free. What are you doing? Tourist. Yeah, he like he like one have a move far. He's hey, like guys, one day Palong will learn car. one day. The one have a move far. The one the one have a move far. He's got kids in there. He <laughs> did the head ball. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, they do some one. This is barely a fix. It's too late. There's no way that we can fix it now. Stay away from me. You bring me down and you hold me back. It feels like I'm not being attacked. Stop, Riley. I don't get down. I got down. Kingston, come here. Evelyn, stop. Kingston, come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. No, it's, it's going to work. So scary. That's yeah. Well, I want to experience that furious scene, dude. Life is boring. Daddy, it looks like the waterfall. India was a roller coaster and it was full of uh, ups, and downs. ups and downs and it had to make sure to get a last yeah, couple punches in before we left. 
All right, so we finally got to the airport. It was a long drive, eight, nine hours. I don't know, it was in the middle of the night. Yes. Um, so we got there early, early, early morning, and we couldn't check in yet because the gate wasn't open. <laughs> Forgot about so that. So they were there at like two, and there was like barely anywhere we could go, but there were still people everywhere. Mm -hmm. We couldn't get sleeping chairs. They were all full. Mm -hmm. Thankfully, they got a little sleep on the floor. Yeah. Um, uh, such a bummer. We bought her this nice metal scooter. Oh, man, it was really nice. You could fold it up and everything. In Thailand, like yeah. And she was like using it a it. ton. Yeah. They made us check it in on the way to India, and then they didn't put it out with our luggage, and we forgot it. And yeah, it was a loss. And one. so then you tried to go. We're like, oh, we'll just get it on the way out. And right. they're like, no. It's a total different area. They and they said it was closed and was no one closed. would come open yes. the door to That's get what it. it was, yeah. So we're like, so you're just going to keep our scooter? Yeah. Oh, so will you come good. later? We're like, our flight's at 9 a.m. We're not, there's not a later for yeah, us. Yeah, yeah, you come after 6 p.m. No, our flight's at 9 a.m. <laughs> like, ugh. So anyways, lost our scooter. He saved us a two kilometer walk. <laughs> <Namaste. laughs> No, I was like, oh, 15's right there, 14's gotta be really close. Jeez. <laughs> and then we got on the plane and we were in shock because the plane was nice. Yes. Dude, that plane was so nice. Yes. Like, everyone was just like... Yeah, I forgot You guys, we, we were so, like, everybody was just done yeah like yeah. mentally spiritually physically like everyone was Stick done like a fork in all of us we yeah were done. to get on this plane and have it actually be like comfortable everyone had like a big tv screen nice room current movies like yeah. brand new movies yeah, in english Spider-Man. like everyone was just like yeah <laughs> and so everyone settles in they're enjoying that we got food for yeah, free we didn't pay true. for food yeah. we got food and drink yep yeah. yeah. we finally made it leaving india Everybody's happy with the TVs. Wishing it was a longer flight. Thai Airways. And then Deli Belly attacked me. Yeah. We had been fine. I didn't have it like the entire time we were in India. I got it a little bit. Made good use of the airport or the airplane bathroom, most of the flight. Yes, she did. I won't give you any more details, but it was multifaceted <laughs> and terrible. Yes. And I thought I was gonna die, like literally thought I was gonna die. But we get to Bangkok, and that airport, like it is massive, and it was like a 20-minute walk from one from to the gate we needed to go to to uh -huh. get to our plane from Malaysia. Yeah. And we were walking, and I'm like sweating, and I'm like carry my purse. I can't even carry like yes, anything. And I was like, had to stop at every bathroom. Yes. And we're, I remember we were going up the escalator and I was like, please don't pass out. Please don't pass out. Please don't pass out. Oh my God, please don't pass out. Like I literally she was did literally not think tears. I was going to make she it was. and started crying. Like I thought I was going to die. I felt that bad. hurt really so bad. That was terrible. We will say India had some really amazing stuff. It did. Yes. Taj Mahal, really nice the people. Red Fort, you know, the whole Some beautiful league. things. And a lot of hard things, and we've been honest about those. You can go back and watch our videos. Mm -hmm. um, the kids in Wally are going to take several years before I can convince them to go back. I really want to go to the south of India, mm -hmm. and um, I want to go to Darjeeling, like, was it Darjeeling? Like mm -hmm. the tea yeah, plantations, yeah, that train. Yeah. Um, there's several places I want to go. We'll see. But it, you got to... You got to prepare yourself for it. So it, it might be a few years before we're back in India. Yes, but, yes, definitely. Um, you didn't kill me for this. Yes. Okay, I think that's it. Yeah. India's done. <sighs> Tune in for Malaysia. We went to Ooh. Penang. Thanks for joining us. We hope right. we'll see you again soon. Yes, stay with us, please. We love you if you're from India. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, safe travels. Don't forget to subscribe. Yeah, please subscribe. Subscribing, liking, commenting. Commenting is my favorite, but um, it all really helps us out. So we appreciate it. All right, thank okay. you. Getting out, I'm saying goodbye.